Alright guys, welcome to a new video. Um, today we're going to be talking about the, the new 1998 CR250 that I picked up uh, a couple days ago. So, the story on this one is, I saw it up for, let's see here, I saw it up for 900 bucks, and I thought it was a scam. So I called the guy, or no, I, I uh, just texted the guy and he just called me right back. And uh, he told me everything about it. Um, and I'm like, oh, it's not a scam. But the only thing that was kind of sketchy was he wanted to meet in like a different location and it was a, it was like two hours away. Two hours and 10 minutes away. So I was like, oh boy. But uh, anyway, this thing has um, brand new fork seals, super dry, like it's insane. It's brand new. So um, it had it's bored and ported, he said. Brand new piston in there. Um, uh, updated sprocket and chain. Uh, what else does it have? Updated shifter. Updated pegs. These pegs are... What are they called? Let me see here. They've got the 125 plastics on it too. IMS Pro Series. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it's got like this this case right here that's upgraded. You can see in there. It's like a carbon fiber plate. Um, it's got the gold series full exhaust. Um, it's got the CR125 plastics, which is kind of weird. I thought. Um, I took all these stickers off of it. It was it was pretty rough before. I cleaned it up, and uh, these side panels were all covered in like mud and stickers, and it was like all peeled off. Like it was all like that. So what I did was take a razor blade and uh, went along and scraped off everything. So I turned it back to white. That was actually a pretty good, pretty good tip. But yeah, so that's the bike. All right, so that was the bike. Um, that's going through everything. And then it comes with like an 80% tire on it, which is pretty nice. And then this tire is pretty clapped out, but it came with a brand new front tire. Um, Front fender and original pipe. So that's everything, and that stand, which is kind of clapped out too. Um, as you can see, it does have the um, pro circuit pipe in the back too. So, uh, air filter is good, check that. That's all oiled up and ready to go. The side panels were off when I bought it. So, I'll show you guys how to use the razor blade to take off like these little things right here. I kind of left these to uh, do a demonstration on the channel. Um, no leaks so far. Um, I have the whole engine, engine case and everything. So everything seems pretty solid. It does have the chain protector still, which is nice. Um, but yeah, the guy said he had it ported. Um, big bore kit in it. And uh, yeah, so that's... He said it was like actually like a 134cc. So it's only bored a little bit over. Um, I guess we can check the coolant here. I haven't checked it. I'm assuming it's fine. Let's see here though. So we can get the cap off. Oh, yep. It's all the way up. Uh, this guy said he ran race fuel in the bike. Um, he doesn't run anything else. AMS oil and race fuel. So, and he hill climbed with it. So, <sighs> that's that. And then there's a this thing. If you fall off the bike, it shuts it off. That was used for hill climbing. So, you tie that to your wrist. And. Uh, Right here, and then when you fall off the bike, it shuts off the bike, which is kind of cool. So, that would be that. And then uh, compression, it's insane compression on it. I mean, that's look at this, it's really good compression. This thing moves, I rode it a couple times already, and uh, it's it's pretty fast. I mean, it's might be a little bit slower than my 250, but my 250 is crazy. So we're going to start it up here and see see what it sounds like. I think. So just turn on the gas, 
and uh, should be good to go. I think the choke's on already, so I'll just kick it over, and we'll we'll see it fire up here. And maybe take it for, for uh, a quick GoPro ride. Stay tuned. All right, so I got started out. Idles and everything. To uh, start this thing, you just tip over the bike to get the gas in the carb, and then it starts up like first kick. Otherwise, it takes a little bit. Yeah, that's the bike. Runs minty. Let's go grab the GoPro and take this thing for a rip. All right, let's do it. Put these gloves on quick, just in case I fall off. Don't want my hands all beat up. These hands are very important. Man, this bike is just sounding mean. Where shall we go? Should we go in the back quick? Sounds like it's running out of gas here. That would suck. I think it's running out of gas. Definitely running out of gas. Let's check the gas here quick. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Plenty of gas. The gas off. Hmm. That's weird. There's some gas left in it. Maybe this thing wasn't on. Super weird. Oh, I think I blew it up. Are you kidding me? There's zero compression now. What the heck? Just blew up this bike. That's uh, not good. Wow. <laughs> yep. 
Yep, it's... I think I lost a ring. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Guy, be kidding me. Well, that's the end of that video. Do you see that compression change? Holy cow. Oh man, looks like we'll be rebuilding it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Check this out. Remember how good the compression was before? Now I can just easily push it down. See, there's like a little bit of compression. I think it hold the piston. Wow. Huh. I don't know. We're gonna switch the camera and talk about it. Man, that sucks. All right, so I just got done taking this thing for a ride. And uh, I don't know if you guys could hear it, just completely bogged down and just ran out like it was running out of gas. And now I have zero compression. Look at that. I mean, if I go hard enough, it will. But like, usually it has that break in there, but now it doesn't. Compared to my CR250. Yeah. So something's definitely wrong. I hope it's just a ring. Oh man, I don't know. What the heck? They're just losing all everything. Maybe a head gasket or something. Just lost all compression. So I'm gonna be uh, taking this whole thing apart, I guess, and uh, getting to the root of it. It's not too hard, at least. It's two stroke. If it was a four stroke, see, now I would be stuck in this predicament and I'd be selling it for like half the price of what I bought it for. But now I can just put a new piston in it. Not a big deal, 100 bucks. Then it will run like new, so. I'm not like too worried. I hope it's not like the power valves or anything. Could just be a ring. You never know. Man, that thing was running great before. Oh, man. That sucks. Huh. Well, what can you do? Live and learn, I guess. Just notice that tire is completely gone. That tread from the chain, I'm guessing. Man. <laughs> right when I take a video of it, it blows up. That's pretty crazy, actually. Maybe he wasn't mixing oil and gas. I have no idea. He said he was running race fuel with... Uh, he was running race fuel with the um, AMS oil. So let's take a quick smell. Yeah, you can smell the AMS oil in it. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's going to be a long project. So I'll be taking that apart. I guess we can do a video on that. But uh, yeah, so that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you, your guys' bikes don't blow up like this. And uh, yeah, at least it's a two-stroke. That's all I have to say. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, we are out. It's all my fault. I'm just human. I've got flaws. I do anything.